Do you know what time it is? It's laser time! Hello, it's Jim from JetsonHacks.com. Today we have a time of flight or laser ranging module. Let's get started. Let's take a look at the box here. Oh, here's the bill. Let's get rid of that. It's from Pololu Robot and Electronics. This is a ST Microelectronics VL53L0X time of flight distance sensor carrier with voltage regulator. And it can range up to 200 centimeters max. Let's open it up. You see the sensor itself is pretty small. And it comes with some headers in the package. Some straight and some right angles. So let's solder these up. So we'll just use this little breadboard to act as a fixture to hold this for us. And now we're ready to do some programming. The next step is to wire up the Jetson to the carrier board that has a sensor chip on it. This is the jumper J21. We take power out of pin one and connect it to VIN on the carrier board. Pin six is ground, this black wire, it goes to ground on the carrier board. Pin three is SDA and it goes to SDA on the carrier board. And pin five is SCL which goes to SCL here. Make sure that you take off the film that the sensor ships with. To wire up the Jetson TK1, we use connector J3A1. Pin 10 is 3.3 volts. It's the red wire and it goes to VIN on the carrier board. Pin two is ground, this black wire. It goes to ground on the carrier board. Pin 21 is SCL, it goes to SCL on the carrier board. And pin 23, the green wire, goes to SDA on the carrier board. The next step is to install the software. The installation is the same for the Jetson TK1 as it is for the Jetson TX1. On the Jetson Hacks repository on GitHub, there is a repository named JHVL53L0X. <laughs> oh, I should be working on Madison Avenue with naming like that. Let's grab that address. Git clone. Switch over to the directory. There are some prerequisites we need to install. That's in a script.
this script also set up our UDEV permissions so that we can run the I2C bus in user space. We have two examples included in this repository. We have a simple one that just prints out to the console the distance that the sensor measures. Let's switch over to the example directory, make. Now we're ready to run the example. The dots indicate that the sensor is reading. And when I place my hands over the sensor, you can see that the distance changes. The second example plots the graph of the distance from the sensor. Let's open up the LiDAR plot example folder. This is a QT5 example. QT5 is already installed. Configure the project. and we'll run it. Do you know what time it is? It's laser time!